guys, this is my new podcast, Things You Should Know, and I am August Fusco. So, the first thing I have to say is this is so exciting, and this is going to be really fun, and I hope you listen to other episodes. I will try to air one every week, probably on a Sunday or Saturday, maybe in the middle of the week, but it most likely will be on a Sunday or Saturday. I'm a very busy person. Secondly... I'm going to tell you a little bit about what this is going to be about. We're going to do a little bit of news. Like, usually the happy news, unless there's something, like, crazy. It's not going to be super controversial, unless it has to be. And then I will show both sides. I'm not just going to be super biased. And then I'll do usually a movie segment and a quote of the day. And maybe even a little joke. And then one fun fact which I don't know if I already said. So, yes. Now time for our movie segment. Okay, so today's movie segment is new movies because this is my new podcast. So, I assume everyone has heard about the new Matrix movie. If you haven't, you need to go check it out. And if you haven't seen the old Matrix movies, you need to go see them because they are amazing movies except for the second one. You can skip the second one. Anyways, this movie is very controversial. People are saying, it was really good. People are saying, it was terrible. They shouldn't have done it. I say, I think it was pretty good. It wasn't better than the first one. I also like the third one, but... I thought it was pretty good. I'm also a huge Neil Patrick Harris fan, who he is the main villain in this. I'm not going to spoil it because it is a very new movie, and I'm sure lots of people haven't seen it yet, but you have to go see this movie 100%. It's worth it, even if you think it's not as good as the other ones, I still think it's good. And there is like a little bit of a plot twist. Also. Free Guy. It's not as new, but it's still a new movie, and I feel I need to talk about it, because it is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. They have little cameos of some famous people in there, like YouTubers, and they have Captain America, and it's with the amazing Ryan Reynolds, who is absolutely hilarious. So, once again, I highly recommend you go see that. Another new one that I've been hearing a lot about, which I have also seen, is Disney's Encanto. I thought, guys, I really did think this was a good movie. People were giving it a lot of crap and saying that, you know, it's just like every other Disney movie. But I don't think it is. I think it's different. It, I mean, it has a happy ending, but it's not the one you expected. You all, although I don't want to give spoilers, so I'm not going to go into it. But it has a twist ending, but it's still a good ending. It's about a family. Everyone has magic powers, and they live in this magical house. But then this one girl, she doesn't ever get any magical powers, so she's like the odd one out in the family. There's also one of the people, you learn this early on so it's not secret, who sees the future. And then he just left because he saw something bad. And then that comes into it later on. And it's like family trauma. I relate to this movie on so many different levels. Like, my spirit animal is like five of the characters. Like, this is a really good movie. I really highly recommend it. And they have, I don't know if they always play the same short. If you see the movie theaters, they had the most amazing short. It was Far From the Tree, I believe it was called. It was about these two raccoons, and it was, like, about parenting. It was amazing. Um, let's see, what else? Um, another new movie, which, another Neil Patrick Harris movie, which I absolutely loved, was 8-Bit Christmas. Now, I think it's only available on HBO Max, but... I mean, guys, it's a pretty good movie. It's a little sad in the end. 
it's not sad. It's just like a real, like, I'm not going to spoil it. It's not sad. It's a good movie. It's very funny. It's about this kid and he tells his daughter about, it's about this guy who tells his daughter about when he was a kid in the 80s and there was this new thing, the 8-bit machine, also known as the Nintendo. And everyone wanted one, but only one kid had one, but they had a chance to win it. And it goes through this whole story and it tells his daughter who also really wants a phone. So it's like how his parents won't let him get the Nintendo and he doesn't want his kid to have the phone. And it's like this whole story. And it's really, really funny. So I also highly recommend that. I think that should cover our movie segment. But actually, no, that doesn't cover it. We have so much more to talk about, guys. I also, yes, I watch a lot of movies if you haven't been able to tell. I've heard that there's the new Boba Fett out. I didn't see The Mandalorian. I haven't seen this yet, but they're on my bucket list to watch. I have watched all the Star Wars movies, all the other little things on the side that were like actual movies. I haven't watched these two yet, but I really do plan on doing it. If you have anything, put it in the comments below because like comments should I should I not watch it or if there's any other movies that you think I should watch and comment on for other segments or you can even give me segment ideas for movies um I think overall that covers it oh wait there's one more movie I want to talk about I'm losing my train of thought the last duel it's not super new it's it was came out this year um the last duel is about real life events. This lady who was raped, but no one believes her because it was by this knight. And her husband, who doesn't want to get rust on his name, goes to fight this guy who he doesn't actually really like in general. So they get into like this big fight and it's a duel and it's a duel to the death. And only, and one of them survives and it, that's, it. I'm not going to spoil it. But I thought it, I mean, don't take your kids to see it, because it's not kid appropriate. But it's a good movie. I, if you want something serious, down to earth, that's a good movie. It's not funny. Obviously, it's a very serious movie, but it's still a very good movie. And I can't believe I almost forgot this. The new West Side Story. I thought they did an amazing job, and our favorite EGOT was in it. If you don't know who that is, I'm not even going to say the name because you need to look it up. She was in it. She replaced Doc or she was her, what, his wife. I'm pretty sure that's what they're trying to say. She, she was a Puerto Rican who married Doc and then he died, which was sad, but I like Doc in the original, but I love, I love her so much. Um, I love that they finally had a Puerto Rican cast, or at least a Latino cast, because in the first one they had white guys with a bunch of makeup. And the only person, I say again, I'm not going to say the name because you should know it, who was Latino is in this, because she is just a goddess. She's won every award, but this is not a segment on famous people, which I should add. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. You'll have to keep watching to find out. So, anyways, I actually haven't finished it yet because I watched it on the, and I couldn't finish it because my computer died and then my subscription ran out. So, yeah, that sucks for me. So I have to watch the last like 10 minutes or 5 minutes, however much is left. But it was so far a really amazing movie. I love that they added anybody's because I relate to that. Um, I also love that they kept mostly original, like the white dress with the red ribbon. They kept um, most of the scenes. I don't know if I like how they changed the order of the songs. I mean, some of it made sense, but not all of it, in my opinion. So. Tell me what you think about my movie segment. And now we're going to go to our next segment, which is news. 
Okay, guys, this is the news. The one story we have to talk about, Betty White. I can't believe the god Betty White has died. She died on Friday of natural causes. That's all they released. She was 99 years old, 17 days away from her birthday. That's when she died. I mean, she was going to be 100 years old. Um, I don't remember which channel it was, but they will be releasing a documentary on her life. Like, they were going to do it as a 100-year birthday present, but sadly she passed away. I believe they are still airing it on her 100th birthday, which would be January 16th. So I think you should tune in to watch that. In other news, we have some interesting things. Um, if you are still... For some strange reason, clinging on to an old BlackBerry phone, it will officially stop working on January 4th. The company behind the once amazing phones that everyone just had to have has transitioned to a security software focus and says that starting on Tuesday, its classic devices will no longer reliably function. That's a good thing, because I have an old one. I don't know if anyone's actually turned it on in like seven years, but I do have an old one in my house. Um, also, a federal court just released a settlement deal between Epstein and Guilfrey. The settlement between Jeffrey Epstein and Virginia Guilfrey is one of his accusers is emerging less than a week after his longtime partner, Gasly Maxwell, was found guilty of sex trafficking a minor. So what happened in this was she was sex trafficking girls for this other guy and their settlement will be coming out soon. Um, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin just tested positive for COVID-19. Austin, who is 68, tested positive Sunday. He said that his symptoms are mild and he was fully vaccinated and boosted in October. He plans to continue with key meetings virtually and during quarantine. Um, another thing, if you are near Pennsylvania or were near Pennsylvania on New Year's, that sound that you heard, that big boom, that was most likely a meteor. Yes, a meteor. Just as surprised as me. I didn't know this until I was looking at news stories for this. So yes, this comes to a big surprise for everyone. On January 22nd, 2022, sometimes the sky is really falling, but in suburban Pittsburgh, a loud explosion took the homes and baffled residents, the National Weather Service weighed and would likely cause this, most likely exploding space rock, which will hit the earth soon. It's going to be very small. It's not going to cause any damage, but most likely it might hit, which I think is very cool. Um, I have to say this one, sadly. I don't like this. Trump still says his supporters weren't behind the attack on January 6th. But come on, dude. Really? It's been a year since that problem Trump, pro-Trump mob stormed the Capitol. I was th someone says I was there when it happened, and I was also three months later when they tried to shift the blame. I think anyone who watched the news that day knows it was Trump supporters. No other person was there, unless they were walking by on the streets. Um, also, um, I don't want to, why does all the news have to be bad? I'm going to say one more. The FDA authorized a Pfizer boost shot for children aged 15, 12, sorry, aged 12 to 15. The authorization comes in the midst of an explosion of COVID-19 cases nationwide, driven by the Omicron variant, a surge that has brought a spike in pediatric hospitalizations. So now, if you want the vaccine and you have waited six months, as any child 12 to 15 is eligible to get the Pfizer vaccine. So, that is great. That wraps up our new segment.
Our next segment will be quotes of the day. I will be doing a funny quote, a serious quote, a down-to-earth quote, and maybe just a random quote that I thought was kind of cool. So our first one is the Brainy quote. Once you bring life into the world, you must protect it. We must protect it by changing the world. I just looked up the quote of the day, so that's the first one that popped up. Another one for Brainy is to be to do. Actually, sorry, I meant for serious. And now I'm going to find the funny quote of the day. If I were two faced, I would be wearing this one. Now, I don't think that's that funny, so I'm going to find a different one. Which is. Get ready, guys, this is pretty good. One day, I'm going to make the onions cry. I know, right? Okay, another quote of the day is the nature quote of the day. There is a muscular energy in sunlight corresponding with the spiritual energy of wind. How is that a quote? Okay, um, let's see, what's another quote? Art quote of the day. I do not seek, I find. Love quote of the day. The flame of anger, bright and brief, sharpens the barb of love. And that's all for quotes of the day. This segment's pretty short, because how many quotes can you do in the day? I know. Those were all pretty bad. I'll find better ones for next time. Our next, uh, our next segment will be... Drumroll, please. Things you should know. I will be doing five of these a day. Well, a, a episode. So the five for today are you should throw away the cotton in your medication bottles I didn't know there was cotton in my medication bottles but believe it or not that little ball of cotton that comes in your bottle of pills which is there to keep the pills safe during shipping is meant to re be removed it can collect moisture because of nature which makes your pills deteriorate faster I don't know about you guys but I don't know what cotton ball they're talking about that's just that's just did you know it's easy to calculate a tip without a calculator? Assuming you want to tip 20% for good service, move the decimal point one digit to the left and then double that number. It's easy. For example, if a bill is 35.50, you move the decimal to the left, which gives you 355. Double the number and you have got 710, a 20% tip calculated in seconds. That's pretty cool. You're the tallest first thing in the morning. Wait, maybe I'm 5'4 in the morning, 5'3 in the morning, I'm really short. If you're feeling a bit on the short side, measure yourself when you first wake up. According to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center, this phenomenon may be due to gravity compressing cartilage in our spine and in other parts of our bodies, such as our knees when we stand or sit down. Through the day, while we are laying down in a resting position, the spine is said to spread out or decompress so when we wake in the morning we are taller than after we've been awake all day that is amazing did you know you should sleep with your door closed sleeping with your door closed will help protect you from smoke and toxic fumes in the event of a fire and for more information how you can better rest at night you can check out 50 tips for your best sleep ever at bestlife.com Number five, sleeping in a cold room can help you slim down. Just a single month of sleeping in 66 degree room helped increase subjects' fat burning ability by as much as 10%, according to researcher from Commonwealth University. Wait, actually, that's actually really cool. So if you sleep in a cold room, you can lose weight. Obviously, you're probably not gonna lose like 100 pounds, but you can lose as much as 10%, according to research from this Commonwealth University. So, I think that's pretty cool, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so, 
our next segment will be the national day and what you should know about today. So I'm recording this on January 3rd. I will update and tell you what it is when I post it in the link below. But January 3rd, 2022 is national national chocolate covered cherry day and national fruit cake toss day. That's a thing. It's the third day of the year. It's the first week of the year and the year is 2022 and we're only 1% into it because the year just started. The word of the day is deja fru. A feeling it's one a feeling one gets when fruit cake seems familiar. I feel like that's fake. A wave of deja fru came across her when she opened the gift basket and saw the fruit cake. Hmm. So January 3rd is also National but it's Monday. January 3rd is National Chocolate Covered Cherry Day. January 3rd is also National Drinking Straw Day. And January 3rd is optional, as I said before, National Fruit Co Toss Day. What you should do on this day is bring joy and happiness to others, reminding them to celebrate every morning. Um, so that's all I have for today. I think that's pretty cool that we're only 1% in. So, as I said, I'm really going to look up if deja fru is an actual word, because I don't think it is. If you know more than I do, please let me know. That's kind of weird. But you should celebrate every day and know what day you this day. I'm not sure how accurate this is, but from now on, January 3rd will forever be Fruit Case Toss Day. Because that is apparently a real thing. I don't think it's a real thing. But that's apparently a real thing. Our next segment will be very short for today. Some days it might be longer. Famous birthdays of today. Today's was Mel Gibson. January 3rd, Mel Gibson. That's really it? No other famous people? Like, I don't know any of these people. Let's see. Um, Doug McDermott. I think he's a basketball player. Um, Vermin Adams Jr., who's a football player. Yeah. None of these people are very famous besides those three. Oh, wait. Eli Manning was also born today. Oh, and Michael Schumacher. I don't know who that is. Should I know who that is? Tell me if I should know who that is. Yeah, that's about it. That's a very short segment for today because apparently people were not born today. It's probably because it's a Monday. No baby wants to pop out on a Monday. Although, it's not always a Monday. Three is a weird number. Maybe that's why. Well, that wraps up this segment. That was a quick one. I'm going to leave you on a smart note. So our next segment will be a fact. I will always end, most likely, I will use, I think I'm going to try to end on a fact of the day. Well, just a fact. It's not just a fact of the day, just a fact. So, if you are ever wondering which president officially named the White House, it is. At various times in history, the White House has been known as the President's Palace, the President's House, or the Executive Mansion, but President Theodore Roosevelt officially gave the White House its name in 1901. I think that's pretty cool. I think I knew that before, but I probably wouldn't have been able to tell you that off the top of my head. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful night, day, afternoon, morning, Whenever it is you're listening to this. I don't know if I'm always going to do a fact of the day. But, I mean, not fact of the day. Like, little daily things. But, because you could be listening to this three days later. But, who knows? It's good to know. So, and I might add some segments. If you have any suggestions or things you want me to do next. Just let me know. So, that's me signing off. This has been fun. 
I hope you listen to other episodes of this, and I hope you learn something that you didn't know before, because here on this show, we learn things you should probably know that you probably didn't know. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.